Welcome back to the Plus Side of Nashville, everybody. You know, after 13 incredible years, this will be the final year for the Radio City Christmas Spectacular, starring the Rockettes at Gaylord Opryland. I'm happy to have joining with me two beautiful ladies here to take their final bow in Nashville, Amy Ling and Miranda LaBear. LaBar. Yeah, I'm so sorry about that, but LaBar. Welcome. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. It's my pleasure. You know, it's hard to believe that 13 years, you all have been here bringing us so much joy each <laughs> holiday season. We've loved having you so much here. Um, and I tell people about the show all the time. But for those people who may not have experienced it, they, ha they have to go see it for themselves, don't they, Amy? How would you describe it to someone? Absolutely. Um, it's a very high energy, um, high paced, long legged ladies kicking eye high. Um, it's just a wonderful show for the whole family, um, especially to start a, a holiday tradition. You see us doing a high energy seven minute tap number. You have Santa taking two boys on a journey to find the perfect gift for their little sister. Along the way, there are some surprises that we have in store for you. Um, but it's just a really wonderful way to celebrate the holiday season with your family and loved ones. It's great for all ages, young to mature and wise, and it's really wonderful. So we're very honored and excited to share our last season here with everybody in Nashville. Well, we're, we're honored to have had you all this time. Miranda, I know a lot of folks are excited, even if they've seen the show before, about going again this year, because there's a couple of new scenes. Yes, we have two new scenes. We have a reimagined section act where two brothers are searching for the perfect Christmas gift for their little sister and so we have a new Santa scene here comes Santa Claus where <laughs> we say how Santa can be in more than one place at once and then Santa and the two brothers travel to the North Pole where we have a new scene magic is there and the rag dolls come to life and play and dance and it's really cool it's really something that audiences should come see for their last year in Nashville absolutely and young and old in age really it doesn't matter mm -mm. Uh, when no. it comes to see, <laughs> when it comes to seeing the Rockettes, and like you did describe it, a high energy show with some of the best of the best dancers. It's just an amazing. I, I would love to get to kind of get to know you ladies a little bit better. Um, I know Amy, you're from uh, New York. Yes. I think Fairport, New York. How yep. long have you been a Rockette? This is my tenth season wow. with the Radio City Rockettes. Um, I'm very honored. I've my actual um, first year performing was here in 2002 oh. and then since then I've been in New York at Radio City and last year I decided to come back because there's just something really special about the audience in Nashville and it's um, you know the the Grand Ole Opry there's so much history there and you're so close to the audience it's really wonderful to share in their excitement as you know we're walking through the aisles and they don't know we're coming <laughs> and you see yeah. you know expressions of excitement and happiness on everyone um, so it's, it's it's really nice to be here thank you yeah. well what about you Miranda how long have you been a Rockette this is my third year as a Rockette and, and I'm from New Jersey I'm from New Jersey and I've performed in Nashville all three years wow. I really love Nashville the city and the audience mm -hmm. they really are just amazing and the best I've heard that from other uh, Rockettes that there's something about Nashville so we should establish that this show is performed uh, of course in New York but in other parts of the country as well so you've had the opportunity to perform in front of other audiences but there's something you say about our Grand Ole Opry yes. there's something yeah, yeah there's something magical there and um, it's just yeah. great like yeah. the curtain goes up and every time you know whether it's the first show of the day the fourth show of the day there's just this energy in there that is very captivating and, and loving well I'm so glad to hear that, <laughs> that there's something special about our yeah. great city well I would love to also know a little bit about kind of what your day-to-day -day life is because you know there's a mystique behind the Rockettes you know people see the Rockettes and that's just the epitome of, of an, an exceptional dancer and a, and a beautiful lady what is a typical day like in your life when you're traveling and you're here in Nashville because you're not home mm -hmm. um, well I can speak for myself um, you know like on the on the days that we only have one show I like to go out and see the city. I do mm -hmm. yoga. Oh, I do oh. other sort of cross training things to keep yes. myself in the shape that I need to be to perform the shows to the best of my ability. So 
Um, I do like to incorporate that. I am very looking forward to actually trying some um, restaurants in Nashville because I know that there's a lot of yeah. wonderful cuisine here that I'm looking forward to trying um, and just getting enough sleep too. <laughs> Miranda, <laughs> what do you do? Yes. <laughs> I'd say it's probably the same thing for all of us. Definitely exploring the city and seeing everything like the Country Music Hall of Fame and going and seeing that is always fun and then cross training, mm -hmm. taking class like pure bar a lot of girls do or yoga or even giving yourself like a ballet class in your room so it was good to help keep in shape and yeah. keep up your stamina for the shows what yeah. about rehearsals for the show how, how often are those we start the rehearsal process about three to four weeks before we actually get here um, okay. and that consists of six days a week for about six hours a day so wow. we're working mm -hmm. very hard in preparation to come here and give you the spectacular show that everyone loves well that's what you've been doing every year for 13 years <laughs> I cannot thank you enough for bringing this, the show to Nashville and, 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 and giving us something always to look forward to well, you, you're mm -hmm. always welcome here in Nashville thank Thank you, and thank, thank you so much. And we are running now, and uh, we close on December 24th. So please make sure to get your tickets yes. at RadioCityChristmas.com, or you can get in touch with the Opry um, uh, box, office. box office. Thank okay. you. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Wonderful. Sounds good. And do not. This is a show not to be missed, folks. Uh, you, if you, if you let it get by and you don't get to see it, you'll regret it. I'm hoping you'll be back. I hope maybe, so too. Maybe a couple years. <laughs> you never know. Look, but you you just never, never know. know. But in the meantime, best of luck to you both. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Thank I, you. I want to thank Amy and Miranda, of course, for being here. And we certainly hope it's not the last time that we'll see these ladies in Nashville. Well, up next, if you're looking for holiday gift ideas or you just want a budget-friendly way to update your winter wardrobe, we've got some trendy accessories that'll look good on you or under the tree. <laughs> Stay with us.